Hey everybody, it's Matt with the Unknown Outdoors. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching again. We are back doing a hike today on the Buckeye Trail. We are out at West Branch. It's, I know, I know you guys don't like to some of you guys don't like to see hiking videos, but um, this place is known for its Bigfoot activities. This is where um, Jack and I actually started out doing it. So, please guys, please, please, please watch the video. You never know you what you'll see. That's hiking beside me, or in front of me, or behind me. Um, done a lot of night investigations out here. Have done a lot of great stuff um, with the caravan and crew out here. And uh, but anyway. I want to hike the Buckeye Trail for a little bit today. And uh, if you guys see my last videos, I do like to hike the Buckeye Trail a lot. For you those you don't know what the Buckeye Trail is, it's about roughly 1,400 miles all the way around Ohio. Um, some people do it all at one time, but. I'm doing sections at a time whenever I can get out and do them. So yeah, today will just be a hike. So please, please watch it. You never know what you're going to see because I always tell you guys, those are the trail markers I'm following. Because you guys never know what's out here. Um, This is Bigfoot country, big time. Big, big time. A lot of sightings out here. Um, and like I always say before, like, you know, hikers, hunters, fishermen, all them guys enjoying out the outdoors are the ones that actually report them. Um, up here, Jack and I, when we were doing this out here, we don't come out here anymore doing any Bigfoot hunting. But um, when I first got into it, we found tracks of Bigfoot up here. Huge tracks we couldn't explain. So it's right on the other side of this clearing. There's really nothing in here to see because it's dense. All right, guys, I'm gonna get back to you. All right, guys. Still on the trail. I tend to hike fast. But I will slow it down. But where we came, I remember. I feel like something's following me. When I was out here, first started with Jack and the caravan crew, we found tracks here. Up through here. Going off in that direction. If you go off in that direction, there's a lake. Um, it was winter out. I do believe it will be on one of my videos, my first, maybe first, first videos. Or I know it will be on the caravan and cruise. I'm not sure which video, but you'll see me out there tracking them. Um, it was pretty cool. But we've done a lot of night hunts out here, guys. A lot of night hunts. So please watch this whole thing 
see if you can see anything out here following me, watching me, or anything like that. There is other people on trail today. It's a beautiful day. It's Labor Day. So the trail is kind of busy today. People don't like their photographs or video taken. So every time I see someone coming up on trail, I will turn the video off. And click it right back on after I leave. Some of you guys have been with the channel a long time. Remember us coming to West Branch? We had coyotes chasing us up in that area during one of the night hunts out here. But yeah, a little bit about the Buckeye Trail. It starts up in Menor, Ohio, or pretty much anywhere you want to start. It's a trailhead. And it goes f about roughly 1,400 miles. Um, same. It roughly goes 1,400 miles on the like following the border of Ohio. It's the longest trail in Ohio. You know, it goes through a lot of state parks and national parks in Ohio. Eventually, I'll get to all of them. I know get on the trail that I'm on now, people normally get on this trail like early in the morning. I doubt I'll, I'm not gonna finish it today. I think this trail is roughly, I don't know, 15 miles. I don't have eight hours today to do it. So I'm gonna do maybe half of it. And then there's a, uh, switch back up there that I'll grab another trail and take me take me back to my to my truck all right guys I'll be right back all right it's a beautiful area up in here I'm coming into I just heard some tree knocking off to my left, which will be off in that direction somewhere. There is a ravine that runs through there. And when we were doing the stuff out here, we always thought they were running the ravines. But I, I miss West Branch. I really, really do. Let's see something. I... All right, guys. Look at that. see all kinds of that stuff out here like I said guys this is known Bigfoot area Bigfoot country that's what this place is
we really have never done any hunts back this far. We've already passed the area where we always done hunts. Um, we really never passed the evergreens because when we did get back here, lot, back this far, to do when we're on our night hunts, crazy stuff would happen out here. Hooting and hollering, things thrown. The swamp. Uh, yeah, here's the swamp. We never go past the swamp right here. So this is yeah, we never make it past this far. Now that I know where my bearings are. So that next ridge line up there, I'm about to climb. We've never done a hunt past up that ridge line. So this is about as far as we've ever gone. Alright guys, I'll be back. All right, we're about to that sign there is a switchback means it goes this way. That's how you read these markers. If it's just a single one, trail's going straight. And no matter like if that's on that sign, it's going trail's going to go that way. If it's on the other side, it'd be going that way. If there's two of them on there and a split, it means there's a split in the trail. Keep in mind if you guys are out hiking. That's how you read those markers. It's like that all over the nation. Just like roads on a car, you know, like roads, driving your car on the road. See, there's only one. And the way to see them is, you should be able to, like if I see that one, I should be able to see the one up here further, which I really don't. But I'm on a clear path. Yeah, you gotta see there's one. They could be anywhere, guys. So, see, there's another one. All right, guys, I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm back. I'm on top of a ravine. Man, I'm out of breath. Sorry, heavy breathing. I haven't been out in a while. As you guys all know, so there's a lot of trees and leaves on the trees, so it's hard to see down there, down there, down in there. If you guys do see anything out here, hear anything out there, out here, please, 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 put it on the, uh, you can put it on my Facebook page, The Unknown Outdoors. Um, you can timestamp it and put it in the comments below. Or you can put it on the Cameraman and Cruz Facebook page. I really miss this place. I wanted to come back out and just see how much of it's changed. It's been a couple years since I've been out here. Here, I'll stop for a minute.
Let's keep going. All right, guys, I'll be back. All right, I'm back real quick. I was showing how to read markers. You see that one? This is blue, blue. Right? Because the trail, Buckeye trail, I'm phone blue. Um, it's going straight. The reason I did that, because there's another trail going that way. And that's actually a green marker trail. And the green marker trail actually adds up, comes into the Buckeye trail, as you can see right there. Now, I'll be following both trails for a while. The reason I was going over those with you is because I constantly, constantly get asked how to read markers like that. But of course, never come out here without a map. Never come out here without how, like I have an emergency GPS in my bag in case something happens to me. Um, if I need to get to it. In case my phone's I have you know in case my phone dies or something out here or if I don't have plenty have service but I'll always carry a paper map don't rely on maps from your phone so my GPS you can see it can you know you can track me out here but I use it Nobody's really tracking me out here. Um, I don't have anybody doing that right now, but normally if I need it, I'll just, I can hit 911. There's another trail going off. I bet you that's a camping. That's probably a camping trail there. I don't know how many people have done the Buckeye Trail yet this year. Most of the people should be out of here by now. Um, because this is September. I would think you would want to be on the other side of the state by now. Unless you're doing it backwards. Then you'd be over in this area. Alright guys, let me climb this, this straight up. So let me, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. When the leaves aren't on the trees, it's just beautiful, beautiful overviews out here. Maybe I'll do this trail again in the fall.
But I am out here by myself today, guys. Um, everybody was kind of busy. It is Labor Day. There's a tree break. All right, let's keep going. I need to check my GPS. I've gone. Oh. Like almost a mile and a half in 30 minutes. Oh, you guys hear that? You guys can't tell me you didn't hear that. There's a tree knock. Over in that way somewhere. Told you. They're out here, guys. They are out here. This is Bigfoot country out here, guys. For Ohio. It, oh, I just saw something. Something just, I just saw some peak up over there somewhere. Remember, I'm not out here to big for hunt. I'm out here to hike. I have my hiking clothes on, which is shorts and my hiking shoes. So I don't want to go off in there and get ticks and everything else all me at night. Maybe something's over there, guys. All right, let's just keep walking. Maybe it'll be following us. We know their habits. Especially out here, I know their habits. This is our, like, where we started at all. Well, way up front. Not up back here. We've never done any night hunts up back this far. It's about a mile and a half back. Probably reaching two miles now. tracks and mud just other hikers that's really cool there's just a field out here in the middle of the woods
I guess I'll be back. All right, guys. That was a trail runner that was coming through. Like I said, a lot of people on trail. Um, they had their music on loud. So I heard it coming up behind me and I'm like, whoa. So that's why I had to hurry up and get off. Because a lot of people don't like to be on video. There's a cool structure. Alright, here's another one. Alright. That was another trail runner. So, you can see these structures back there. I don't know if we might got some rain coming. Top of a ridge line right now. It goes way down. If the leaves weren't there. You'd be able to see the lake right out there, the West Branch. There you can see the lake a little bit. Wow. Guys, look at this tree. <laughs> That's a huge tree. It's been there forever. Oh boy. All right. All right, guys. There's a there's a lake. All right. 
I'm gonna jump off here now because I have to go straight down. I know the camera doesn't do it justice, but that's straight down. Okay, I'll let you know when I get to the bottom. And I think I have to go straight back up. So, all right, I'll be back with you. All right, guys, I'm back. Yeah, that was straight down. So, and then it went straight back up right away. So, I didn't even film that. So, I decided when I get to the other ridge line, I will just start filming again. There you go. Um, this trail has a lot of up and downs through different ridge lines. I mean, West Branch, Park, West Branch is a beautiful. Wow, look at that. There's an old pipeline. I wonder what that was used for at one time. I mean, I'm sure they don't use it anymore. Cool. Um, I don't even know where it goes. But anyway, it's a beautiful. Oh, it goes way up back off into the woods that way. The trail goes off this way. But this is a very beautiful park. Get a chance, come out and visit West Branch. There's so many places to go, so many places to do. You know, there's so many things to do out here. There's camping, mountain biking, hiking, uh, kayaking, um, swimming. I mean, you can go on these trails and spend hours on these trails. I am next to a row of tracks, guys, and there is a train coming. Um, it's just, this place is just a horseback riding. There's horseback riding out here. If you own horses, you can bring them out. There's trails. All right, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to wait till this train passes. All right, I'm back. Um, it's right into a cobweb. You can tell no one's been on this trail for a while, running into cobwebs. But yeah, like I was saying, there's so much things to do out here at West Branch. So if you're from out of town or something, you want to come up to Ohio for some reason, check out West Branch State Park. Beautiful area. I mean, there's other... We have other gorgeous parks here, don't get me wrong, like Salt Fork and Hocking Hills. We got a bunch. I mean, it takes me about 45 minutes to an hour to get here. This morning took me an hour because of traffic. But. I'm sorry about my camera work. I'm hiking, so I'm like looking everywhere and I need to be concentrating on my camera. So I do apologize, guys. Oh, the power lines. Remember, we always talk about the power lines. How, that's how we think their roadways are. Here are some power lines. It's just hot out there. And I still have a sweatshirt on. So I'm stupid. Beautiful out here. See, still in the Buckeye. Uh, I guess.
guess I think the trail's down here. myself down this morning before I came out but Let's keep going. Sorry, I was checking the ticks. It sounds like something's following me, guys. I don't know. The trail runners took a different trail. Holy moly, guys. Look at this. Big giant hole. X on the ground, going down the hill. All right, guys, I'll be right back. I came back. I can't drink of water. This just is not as bad as the other one was. Again, sorry about my camera work today, guys. I really am. Um, I feel kind of spooked out here today. I don't know why. It feels like something's following me. We've heard one tree knock already. Another swamp we're going over. I'll start going downhill soon. I'm so hoping. Mean, there are these woods. Some came in here and like crushed this place. My eyes are playing tricks on me. So I got you guys looking. See, Did you hear that? That was a tree knock.
trail runners took way, way, way back there. The trail runners, there's, they were following the green trail, but, and that turned off way back there. The green trail is not, it's literally um, part of the park. Um, the trail that I'm on now is a state trail. Um, that's part of the park, so it stays within the park. Oh. Look at this tree, guys. That's pretty down there. And that's behind me right there. Alright guys. Alright guys. Let's keep going. There's going to be a trail coming up here that we're going to be taking. That's going to get us back to my truck. I think it's still the Buckeye Trail, but what it does, it splits off. One goes to camping. And we came in on the camping side. And then the other one goes to the trailhead. Basically, they're the same place. I mean, I don't know why the trail splits off. I don't know why they did it that way. It's something new they did. 
yeah, we want to go straight. When we came off before, we came that way. We're going up. Again, guys, I'm really sorry about the camera work today. Really, really am. And how fast I'm moving, and I'm trying to slow down for you. I'm used to, when I'm out hiking, it's different than bigfoot hunting. When I'm out hiking, I'm used to going at a good amount of rate. But I know a lot of you want to see the Bigfoot stuff too. So I'm trying like crazy to keep that in mind. So we've heard two tree knocks today. today. I don't want to say tonight, but no, today. I heard something back in the woods. All right, guys, I'll let you go. All right, I came up on a family that's had three dogs and they did not want to see me. So, the dogs didn't. So I definitely had to turn the camera off for that. I hope this video comes out good and I hope you guys like it. We are actually almost done. We didn't go very far today. We actually did. We're coming up on five miles, which isn't that bad. So we haven't been out in a while. Sorry if the camera's shaking, guys. There's another ravine. There's all kinds of stuff up there, guys. Tree bends, everything else.
at this. Another creek. Creeks are really muddy today. You hear that? Tree knocks. <sighs> All right, guys, I'll be back in a little while. Well, I'll be right back. All right, guys. Heading. We're almost to the vehicle, to my truck. Um. It's been a nice hike today, to be honest with you. I like to keep. This trail goes on and on and on. We just took a cut off. Um, see, we're now on white blazes. It means it's an, I'm off the Buckeye Trail. And it's leading me to a certain area. See? What it's leading me to is a trailhead where my truck is at guys I'm hoping you guys enjoyed the video I really do apologize about the camera uh, doing the camera today very shaky very fast moving quickly I don't know I do apologize for that It's part of, it's me hiking. Um, we'll get, I'll get better with that in doing hiking videos. See, we're back on the same trail as we came in on. So, I do apologize for all the can for all the nasty camera work today. Um, I, get, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Even those of you that do not like hiking videos, um, I kind of figured I'll mix the two. I wanted to get out here into Bigfoot Country in Ohio. Or kind of all started for me to and see what it's like and see what's changed so my truck is literally less than a thousand feet up this trail this is about where I started the video I mean it's pretty through here So, well, anyways, guys, I'm going to use this as my closure. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. It is free. You do not have to pay for a subscription to this channel. It is free. It doesn't cost you a dime. Just go up there and hit subscribe. And then hit the thumbs up like button. Alright guys. Because I got plenty of Bigfoot videos coming with the cameraman and crew. Work is starting to slow down. So that stuff's going to start being going out with him a little bit more. 
fall time's coming up. I love hiking in the fall when it's not 100 degrees outside. So I got maybe some more hiking videos coming up. And I promise on hiking videos I'll learn to do better camera work. But, alright guys, I really appreciate you all. Thank you, thank you so much for watching. If you guys seen anything, heard anything out there, please timestamp it, put it in the comments. With all of that said, thank you again. This is Matt with The Unknown Outdoors. We'll see you all on the next adventure.